So, hey guys, and I don't know if you noticed this, but I've been trying to do a vlog every week. It's very unsuccessful, but I still try. Basically, my definition of a vlog is basically where I sit here and talk to the camera and show my face and talk to the camera about random stuff. I already said talk to a camera, didn't I? And so today, I thought, since it's around winter time, it's January at the date of this video, I thought we'd talk about sledding. So winter is probably my least favorite season. Okay, you know what? It, it makes top four. Now, I don't really mind the cold for short periods of time, but the wetness kind of ruins it, and when you're when you're playing out in the snow, it's, it's very unavoidable. Even when the snow's packing enough to make fun snowballs or snowmen or have snowball fights or whatever, I still get wet and cold and very uncomfortable. But that's where sledding comes in. Sledding's very fun because you get to go down a hill of snow with very minimal contact to the surface. And other than your feet, the rest of your body doesn't really touch the snow that much and therefore you don't get wet as quickly. There's a lot of reasons people go sledding. The main one for me is that I, I like the adrenaline rush of going down the hill at super high speeds and then I also like hanging out with friends. Now these two reasons for me sledding actually doesn't apply to the first time at least I can remember. So we were at Grandma's house, and me and DP were very little. I'm Jason, by the way. I always forget to introduce myself. And so we were at Grandma's house, and so Grandma decided, since it was winter, she'd take us sledding. Now, we were, we were at a very young age. I don't, I don't know how old we were. Probably less than, let's say, less, less than 10. So the hill Grandma took us to was... As best you could call it a hill. It wasn't that tall. It was probably not as tall as an average sized door. I'm looking at my door right now and measuring it. Okay, yeah, it may have been a little taller. And so it was in between a bridge over a freeway and some woods. And so it was sloped at a corner like like this, and then there was like a spot in the middle. And so me and DP were kind of sliding over the really small side of it down the hill, and that was mostly because that they were teens at the top. And me and DB, we didn't want to mess around with these teens. I mean, they weren't very mean. But there were a lot of them, and again, this was a very small hill. And I didn't think we'd all fit up there. Eventually, though, younger me got very, very, very bored and annoyed of sliding down the smallest part of the hill and decided, you know what? I'm gonna go up that big hill and slide with the big kids. I didn't even sound like that, by the way. That's my impression of a little kid, which... Little kids don't even sound like that either, do they? And so I decided to go up and sled with the big kids. But the first time down, I don't remember if it was me hitting someone or someone else hitting me, but almost immediately after I slid down, it was just like... <laughs> and since it was a short hill, it wasn't like... <laughs> for very long. And so being the little kid I was, I probably cried a little bit, and then I just like went home. I was more embarrassed than hurt. To be honest, that's my only horrific and scary sledding story, it's not really even that scary. The rest of them were actually pretty fond memories, to be honest. One time we went with some of our friends from our old church to this one big, big hill that was in our, that was in our proximity. And so, it wasn't really steep per se, but it was very long and it was steep enough that you could sled down really fast. By the way, these friends are Zach and Michael. That's, that's not their real names. I've mentioned bef them before in a previous video. Except it's probably one of my old embarrassing ones, so don't watch it. So me, DP, these two friends, another friend, and their families all went to sled down this one hill. Of course there were some other families there, but they didn't really do anything. Except sled, of course. So one of the most popular things we did was actually not sledding races. What we actually thought was more fun was trying to link sleds together by grabbing on or tying them together and slide down in a little train. It always failed, but it was it was still enjoyable. I was actually never a part of these trains because obviously they always fail and I thought they were stupid. So I'd be the one pushing them down to get them started and then eventually I'd just grab a sled and slide down after them and then try to hit them. Now one of the more memorable parts about sliding down that hill were the bumps. I know that sounds really stupid, let me explain. So one of the main reasons I like sledding down is the adrenaline rush. I like going down really fast and having a lot of fun. And on this hill, there was like two or three fun little bumps on it. I don't think they created them on purpose, but there were bumps nonetheless. And so when you're going down the hill really fast, you're thinking, what can make going down the hill really fast more fun? Foomp. Okay, it didn't really go that high, but you would catch air. 
not a lot of air, but air nonetheless, and it was really 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 fun and so since those bumps were so fun when we moved to here we have a hill outside and so we thought why don't we make a sledding hill of our own so there were two problems first our hill kind of comes in like um tiers first there's the top and you're going down then there's the driveway right here another hill and then you continue on now the problem is, when the plow came through, he'd plow the snow to the sides. So if you're coming down the top hill, you would hit the wall of snow coming down in the bottom. And that kind of ruined the fun because all you're doing is down one hill. So me and Deepy each had jobs to fix this. Deepy was going to the top of the hill to mound a lot of snow on one spot so we'd be higher up when we went down. My job was to move the snow that the plowed put over there out of the way so we'd have a clear path to get down. So when I was done and when everything was functional, what I was thinking again was, we should add a bump! And so in between me and DB going down the hill, I'd go to my spot right after where I made the hole and make a little a little bump. And so every time me or DP went down, it would just be kind of like, thump. You, you just break the bump. So I tried to make the hardest and most fun bump possible. Me and DP both climbed to the hill with my bump fully built and operational, and DP goes decides to go down first. He goes in the first hill, he goes across the driveway, no problem, and then he starts going down the other hill and hits my bump. But instead of going over the bump like you're supposed to, he kind of goes like this, so this is DP, and it's just like, thump, and he flies off the sled, and he rolls and rolls and rolls yards away from where his sled got caught by the bump. And so I'm sitting on top of the hill laughing at him, and he's so angry, but not angry because he fell off his sled. He was angry because the force of him falling off hurt his hand because he was holding onto the handles too tight and it's like and so he comes up and he's like ow my hand my hand ow and I was laughing even more because he's not mad at the fact that he fell off his sled but more so that he hurt his hand in the process it's, it's really stupid and so I'm sitting on top of the hill laughing at him because <laughs> it was the funniest thing to watch and so he comes up the hill angry as ever not because he fell off his sled but because he hurt his hand in the process. He was holding onto the handles too tight going down and it's like, ah. And so he comes up, ah, oh, my hand, my hand hurts. Completely ignoring the fact that he just fell off a sled and rolled tons of miles in the most comedic way possible. And so I'm just sitting there laughing all the more because he's so frustrated about something as small as his wrist hurting. His wrist is fine now, obviously. It's just so funny. So I'm getting so angry about something so stupid. Then again, sledding itself is very stupid, if you think about it. I mean, near the ev end of every time you go sledding, you start getting philosophical and being like, this is really stupid, we're just walking up a hill just to go down it again. I mean, did that guy in Greek Mythos who had to push up the rock up the mountain for his punishment and then have it roll down again and push it back up again find it fun for the first few tries? He probably did, actually. Eventually, when sledding does get boring, people find new and fun ways to do it. Now, some people race sleds down the hill, which is... I don't really like racing sleds. I always thought that was boring. It's one of my friends, Just Chillin' Studios, kind of, a, kind of another shout-out to him. He came up with a cool idea himself called Bumper Sleds, although... It, it's not really anything like bumper cars. I'll, I'll let him explain it. Okay, so bumper sleds is something me and my friend Jason came up with one winter at a... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come up with it. You came up with it. Well, I mean, he played it. He played it. I, I came played up it. with it because I'm an idiot. Like, everybody, <laughs> literally everybody at the party is safe except me. Like, I can't with the stupidest stuff in the world. But, like, we get in a line of, like, ten sleds going down a hill and uh, like right in the line and then like when one would flip over all the other ones would just fly over the person once they got like buried in the snow it's pretty much bumper cars going downhill in a sled oh i thought you said it was like chicken fighting down this hill on a well, sled i mean it was it was you you'd pretty much be like sledding towards other people oh then, like you like um if once you fled you'd have to stand up and stand where you were and hope that nobody hit you. anyways this kind of took to a a weird turn, 
this this whole video. So I don't know how much you've heard of that conversation between me and Just Chillin' Studios. I might make an even longer video about me and him talking and our other friend Lightning. They're all talking right now, probably wondering where I am. So apparently Bumper Slides is just as it sounds. I thought it wasn't, but appa apparently it is. You go down the hill and you try to bump other people off their sleds, like bumper cars. And then like when some people fall off, you try to either avoid them or sometimes it's even more fun to crash into them. So yeah, this might not be the safest game, but it's sure gonna be fun. But anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.